Yo, 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 what's happening, Cowboys Nation? All my fellow Dallas Cowboys fans, this your boy, The Real McCoy, coming at you in another video, man. Um, two things I want to say real quick. Again, appreciate all the love, support, man, um, all the views, subscribers, all that good stuff. It's it's absolutely amazing to me, man. Uh, the channel is doing way better than I thought it would. Um, but I, I do want to, uh, I feel like I owe you guys an apology. I do want to apologize. It's been like, what, six days, almost a week, basically. Since I posted my last video, and uh, and and the reason for that is uh, there are two other projects that I'm working on, you know, in in my own personal life. I, I want to become a novelist. I'm, I'm I'm writing my first novel. It's kind of a murder mystery, you know, what I mean something like that. Uh, but I, I finished the first chapter of that. Uh, writing a book is not easy, <laughs> you know what I mean. But I'm, I'm I'm writing my first book, you know what I mean. So I'm working on that. That's one. And the other one that's got me busy, another project that I'm working on is I'm creating an I'm creating an app, and it's going to be a sports related app. It's in the beginning stages. Uh, I initially started working on it over the summer, but I put it on the shelf because the football season was about to start, and I, you know, I'm passionate about my Cowboys. But writing the book and working on the app, those two things kind of got me, you know, I mean, distracted from putting out content for you guys here on youtube and i personally felt like i owed you guys an apology you know me for subscribing and all that i should have at least you know told you guys that but um two things i want to accomplish in, in, in my life my personal life but uh but anyway getting into it uh this video here we're talking about most of us believe you know the cowboys we need pass rush we need pass rush and uh i've said numerous times the 2017 draft is full of pass rushers but i want to name a few players a few guys who who, who you may not have heard of or may not get talked about a lot in the 2017 draft, but guys who have some potential. We all know about Miles Garrett out of Texas A&M, Derek Barnett out of ten Tennessee, uh, Tack McKinley, Takaris McKinley, UCLA, Taco Charlton, Michigan, Warmly from Michigan, Charles Harris from Mizzou, <coughs> Dwayne Smoot from, um, from, uh, from I Illinois, I mean, we know about all of these guys. I just want to talk about five guys who you guys may not have heard of or some guys who you, who names you might not hear a lot throughout the draft process. But if the Cowboys were to draft these guys later in the rounds, you, you can you can be familiar with his name and, you know, man, and his talents and, thing, talents and things like that. So we'll jump right into it. Um, this fifth guy is uh, uh, Juan Price from Pittsburgh. Now, Juan, as far as... Quickness, speed, athleticism, change of direction, being a pure pass rusher, putting all those together. He's one of the most ta talented guys in this draft, maybe the most talented. But there are a lot of scouts out there who think he's going to go undrafted because of his size. He's listed as six five. I mean, six feet, two hundred and fifty five pounds. I'm curious about that. Uh, now he is stronger than he looks. Kind of compact. He's stronger than he looks. In the run game, he's gonna get absolutely swallowed in the run game at the, at the NFL level. You know, he's he, he's small now. He's not in the Senior Bowl, but I believe he's gonna play in the East West Shrine game. I'm curious to see what he weighs in as, cause 255. I'm curious about that. And he's he's stronger than he looks, but he he's small for the NFL level, and that's why a lot of scouts think he he just may go undrafted. Kind of similar to James Harrison with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He has similar measurables to Juan Price. He went undrafted. He won different defensive player of the year. But Juan Price has all the, the talent. Well, he has all the quickness, speed, athleticism, all those type of things. But he, he's, he doesn't have the reach. He sees measurables. Just, you know, they're not really up to par to what a lot of GMs, coaches, and scouts, what they're looking for. A lot of scouts believe he's going to go undrafted because of that. But everything else, man, this this guy is lightning quick, you know. But in in the running game, you know, if he doesn't beat the tackle to the inside real quick, he's going to get swallowed in the running game. No doubt about it, man. He, he's too small, you know what I mean? Number four for me is Derek Rivers from Youngstown State. Uh, most people think that he, he played some hands in the dirt, five technique defensive end. But most scouts believe he's going to be three, four outside linebacker. Uh, he needs to get a little bit stronger. He needs to be a little bit stronger so he can be stout uh, at the POA, you know what I mean, against the run. But most think he's, you know, he's suited 
to drop back in coverage and be a 3-4 outside linebacker. He has good speed and quickness around the edge. He's listed at 6'4", 250 pounds. Decent, decent. Would like for him to get a little, you know, put, put a little bit more weight on him, get in the weight room, things like Kind of what we had to do with Randy Gregory and Demarcus Lawrence. He came out of Boise State. But he is on the Senior Bowl roster. I believe he's on the North roster for the Senior Bowl. What's today? Friday. I think the Senior Bowl is tomorrow. So he'll be on there if you guys want to check him out. He's projected to go around like in the sixth round. You know what I mean? But um, but Derek Rivers from Youngstown State. You know what I mean? Uh, if you guys want to go check him out. Uh, but I think most think he's going to be a 3-4 outside linebacker. He, but he has had some success putting his hands in the dirt. You know what I mean? Things like that from Youngstown State. So check him out in the Senior Bowl tomorrow. And I believe he's on the North roster for the Senior Bowl. Number three for me is to no passing yard. I mean, I, I saw if, if you guys are familiar with me and my other YouTube channel, I suck with pronouncing names, but, but it's to no to no passing yard. This is 6'8", 280 pounds. His junior year, maybe his senior year, he weighed in at 290. But I think at the senior bowl, because he was on the senior bowl, he weighed in at 280. 6'8", 280, big guy. Kind of like kind of like a Calais Campbell, David Irving. Big guy. Has pass rest ability. Now, because of his size, he is limited with quick change of direction, things like that, athletic ability, quickness, lateral movement, things like that. But big guy who has some pass rush ability, no doubt about it. But what he would give us, you know, if we were to draft him, he would give us versatility across the defensive line. Like how the Cardinals move uh, Calais County from end to tackle. How we put David Irving from end, bumping down the inside, play three tech, D, one, tech, one tech defensive tackle. Whereas Passino, with his size, he can do those same things. And being 6'7", six, 6'8", six, he can jump up, put his hands in passing lanes and things like that. But... Uh, from, he's from Villanova. I believe he is on the South team for the Senior Bowl. So he will be at the Senior Bowl game tomorrow. He's on the South team. He will give us versatility across the defensive line. We can move him around like how we did David Irving. Uh, lateral quickness, you know what I mean, it's limited. Uh, his best spot may be a good seven technique. He'll be strong against the run. Uh, we basically need a, a right defensive end, a pure pass rusher. I don't think he's going to give us much much of that. I mean, look at Calais Campbell. He he could be a Calais Campbell type of player. You know what I mean? With his size, uh, Calais Campbell wasn't the greatest athlete, anything like that. But because of his size, that's the first guy that I, that I, I can think of. He can move across the defensive line. You know what I mean? To, to annoy p passing y'all. <laughs> but he's on the senior bowl team if you want to check him out. Number two for me is uh, Keontae Davis from Chattanooga. He's 6'3", about 270, 275. Good athlete. Um, quick burst around the edge. Pretty deep, not above average chain. Not great change of direction. Uh, above average. Um, has some pass rest ability. Physical and strong against the run. He's on the senior bowl for the South team. Um, he played uh, right defensive end, which is what we need. You know what I mean? Has, he has some pass rest ability. He shows some explosiveness. Some... Um, and um, not always, it's not always there, but there are flashes like, whoa, this guy's really quick coming around the edge, change the direction. If he can't beat the tackle around the edge, he can slip back in, change the direction real quick, come back to the inside. He has pure pass rush ability, which is what we need. You know what I mean? So it's just change of direction. You know, can't be, it's, it's above average. Not great, but above average. Finding pure pass rushes is hard to find. And he possesses some of that ability, no doubt about it. But Keontae Davis, see, and uh, he's on the Senior Bowl team. If you want to check him out tomorrow, things like that. And, uh, I'm trying to hurry up, go through it. This isn't a full breakdown of each player' strengths and weaknesses, things like that. I just want to put these names out there to you guys, so you guys can go check them out for yourself. Uh, but anyway, uh, number one for me is uh, Terrell Basham. I like that last name, Basham. It's a, it's a good football name, especially a defensive player. Uh, Terrell Basham. From Ohio, 6'4", about 260, 265. Um, he's the type of guy that if he, um, I, I can't remember which he's on. He's on the Senior Bowl. Uh, he's on the Senior Bowl team as well. I forgot which roster. But if he shines tomorrow at the Senior Bowl, if he shines at the combine, he could be a guy whose name gets mentioned in the first round. Um, he has the size, change of direction is good, pure pass rusher, lateral quickness. 
He's strong against the run. He has long arms to keep get the reach to keep tackles off of him in the in the uh, in the running game. He can say he can, he can be styled against the run as well. That Keontae Davis has an above average change of direction. Terrell Basher has him a great change of direction. You're gonna need that. He's gonna need that at the next level. Pure pass rush. He played left and right defensive end. Very productive. Uh, I think he had he had almost 30 sacks in his four year career. He was a uh, first team All American for the MAC conference. He won MAC Defensive Player of the Year his, his just past year, his senior year. Dealt with a few injuries, but um, it's from all, from what all the Ohio coaches are saying, high character. We're bringing in some guys with some good character, guys like Zeke. Well, Zeke has done some off the field things that you're like, ah, I wish you wouldn't have done that. But he brings in that winning attitude. We all know about that Prescott's character. But all the coaches at Ohio talk about this guy, high motor, a guy who loves football. Off the field, I believe he's the first guy in his family to go to college. He's very proud of that. He takes that seriously. He loves football. High character guy. Wants to learn. Wants to improve. Wants to get better. Has a high motor. If the ball is ran away from him, he chases it down backside. Good hustle. I love this guy, man. I mean, I'm starting to fall in love with this guy, Terrell Basham, man. Uh, me, personally, I would take Terrell Basham over Taco Charlton from Michigan. I would take Terrell Basham over Wormley from Michigan. That's just my opinion. He doesn't have a, a, a lot of negatives, you know what I mean? Uh, pass rushing ability can get better, but you see the talent. I mean, you, you see the first round talent there, but he went to a small school like most of these guys did. But you look at somebody like DeMarcus Ware, one of the best defensive players in Cowboys franchise hist history. He was a first round pick. I believe 11th overall in 05, 06. He came out of Troy, small school. Uh, Khalil Mack, one of the top three, top five, top three best defenders in the NFL right now. I think he was the fifth overall pick in 2014. He came out of Buffalo, small school. So, you know, it, it can be done. But I just want to get these guys' names out there, guys who mainly went to small school, so you may not have heard of things like that. And uh, But Terrell Basham is the one guy. First round might be a little bit much. His stock could rise, depending on what he does at the senior bowl, at the combine, and things like that. But we put on the tape, you see good talent there. You see good talent from Terrell Basham. I'm starting to fall in love with this guy, man. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Once again, I want to apologize for, uh, for going about a week in between videos, things like that. That shouldn't happen again. Um, so let me know what you guys think on what you guys think about these guys, some of the lesser known guys, lesser named guys, and you know, do you like any of these guys? I'm, I'm talking about rounds four, five, six, things like that. The only guy I see maybe going in the first two rounds, in my opinion, is Terrell Basham. Let me know what you guys think, uh, Cowboys Nation, man, and um, and uh, just just stay stay inspired, man. Stay motivated. You know what I mean? If you want, like me, I'm working on writing my first book. Don't have a lot of experience at writing. Working on the app. You know, if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, uh, anything you want to accomplish, anything you want to be in life, man, go for it. Go do it. You know what I mean? If I can inspire you, one person to accomplish their dreams and, and goals, man, go do it. Things like that. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, man, and uh, about these players. And uh, this your boy, The Real McCoy, man. I'm out, man. Peace.